Disney five minute girl power stories. Disney five minute girl power stories. Disney Sleeping Beauty, an amazing team. Aurora loved being a princess, but after spending so many years in a quiet cottage, her life at the castle was often a bit overwhelming. One day, Aurora was embellishing a flag for the upcoming joust. The whole kingdom gathered at this exciting event to watch knights compete on horseback. But Aurora noticed Samson, Philip's horse, was refusing to follow the stable hand into his stall. The prince is traveling, so the horse won't get to compete in the joust, the stable hand said. It seems like we both could use some fresh air, Aurora said to Samson. I'd like to take you somewhere special. But it was an awkward ride into town. Samson and Aurora had trouble finding a rhythm. Eventually, they reached the village. It was bustling. Just then, Aurora had an idea. What if we compete in the joust together? She whispered to Samson. Samson was overjoyed. He immediately raced to the field where he and Philip used to practice. You are amazing, Aurora exclaimed. Is this where I'm going to learn how to joust? Samson whinnied in reply. In the joust, Aurora would have to thread a series of rings onto her lance, gallop down a straight away, and disarm the knight pitied against her. On the night before the tournament, Aurora revealed her plan to her parents. Since Philip won't be present for the joust tomorrow, I'd like to compete in his place. After a brief silence, her mother spoke. You're a new kind of princess, she said. It would be our honor to have you participate. The sun rose early the next morning. The townspeople gathered around the jousting arena, excitedly waving flags and banners. Aurora and Samson took their place among the competitors. Their hearts raced as they surveyed the scene. No matter what happens, Aurora whispered to Samson, We are a team. All of a sudden, their names were announced. It was time to compete. Samson took off. Aurora lifted her lance and put it through all the rings on their path. Aurora and Samson charged toward their opponent, the valiant Sir Caspar from the kingdom of Blumenfeld. Now Aurora needed to disarm Sir Caspar, but their weapons kept getting locked. She had to try a different tactic. While Aurora was thinking of a new plan, Sir Caspar sent her lance flying through the air. With their weapon gone, Aurora and Samson were defeated. 
At the end of the day, the winners were announced. Aurora and Samson ended up in fourth place. Not bad for a first tournament, Aurora said with a wink. She and Samson made an amazing team.